say the guy being sent off and a great opportunity to score. But yeah, for me, I'm not thinking that's a really obvious red card. I think contact does happen. But I think the way he's fallen down isn't due to that. I think it's more so the idea of we can maybe get an advantage from this. Do you agree? Do you know, when I was watching this game yesterday, uh, uh, the same as Nathan, at full speed, when Warrell made a mistake but by his miscontrol, and I thought, that's going to be a penalty because there's no way Haaland's going to go down. No way. And then when I saw the replays come in, I was like, they, they're going to go with the referee's decision here. And I was fine with that. I, I just, I'm not denying there was a hand on the shoulder or, or there was some contact, but you had allowed some, some contact. I, I did not think that was a free kick. I did not think it was going to be a penalty if it was inside. I think it might just have been out. So it was never going to be a red card. And I don't know... I think he's felt a tiny bit of contact, Ellen Haaland, and he's thrown himself to the ground. Right. That's, that's the way that I saw that. No read the consensus here. Jan, do you agree? Well, let's start with the fact. The fact is that he's, he's taken off balance, that you don't need a big <laughs> push, Come on. push to get him down. <laughs> you were not taken down. You were not taken down. He was off balance. You, you're running in there. You no don't chance. need a big off balance to go down. There is no chance that he will go... Why should one of the best goalkeepers... No, sorry, goal-getters in the world go down when you are 16 metres from the goal? Well, you're going to have to and ask you, him you that question. Sco- You'll have to ask him that question because there's no way in the world that the contact from Joe Worrell was enough but to you bring have him asked, down. But you have asked him and you, you, uh, he, he told you then that it was a dive. No, no, so I said I you, you need him. to ask him that question. Why he would go down? There's no explanation as to why he would go down. There's never enough contact there. Never enough. There, there is no, there is no explanation to your argument either. So well, there is the an explanation. Just... He's thrown my my explanation, Jan, is he's thrown himself down when he's felt exactly. the slightest contact. Exactly. Your explanation. Why should a goal get to go down 16 meters? He will, wow. he will fancy himself. It's a bigger chance that he will score than he has to go through that commission trying to see who will be the penalty taker at Forest uh, 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 yesterday. But you're not thinking about that at the time. Are you? you're, feeling the co- you're not thinking about that. You're feeling the contact and you're going down. I, I was convinced, as soon as we saw the replays, I was convinced that they were not going to overturn the on-field decision. Mm. Absolutely yeah. convinced of it. Uh, Jan, we talked a lot about Haaland of late and maybe not getting the service that he needs, that he wants to continue this fantastic goal run, of course, which we saw him start the season with. Yet yesterday we saw, of course, a couple of big chances for him. Those kind of games a goal getter will have. Uh, and he could have had two or three yesterday as well. Uh, Foden could have played him in, on an open goal if that was like. I, I don't like this discussion if, if he makes them better, if, if, if they have to find him all the time. I mean, that is a theoretical discussion, in my opinion. They, will, they find each other. He scored over 30 goals. City are up there, so he will score a lot of goals. Will he break the records? Probably will, and then we'll, uh, we'll see. City have only got themselves to blame. They were in so much control in this game, and Bernardo Silva scored a wonderful goal. But yeah, yeah he missed the, the two chances that failed to him at the one time there. But, but Jan's right. I mean, Phil Foden made a terrible decision when he was going through. He, 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 took, he took a touch and another touch and another touch, and then he tried to play it to Haaland, but that time it was too late. Now, yeah. Foden's a type of player, like a lot of these City players are, they normally see these things early. Yeah. But it was touch and it was touch and it was touch. And then, to be fair, Navas made a couple of good saves. You know, the one from the corner from Laporte, I think it was. That was from cl- yeah. that was from close range. They should have scored, but he headed it straight at Navas. So, really, it was one of those games where you were waiting for us getting one opportunity or two opportunities, and, and that's what they got. And City really, they, they, yeah, yeah, they'll complain about that penalty decision not going the way, but really, there was other moments in the game that they should have been more clinical in the final third. Yeah, and Nadem, you could say, well, look at all the chances they had, just one of those days in front of goal. But as we discussed yesterday, they've had quite a few of those sort of days this season. Um, Perhaps. I can't necessarily think of those off the top of my head because I think I've seen some of those games where maybe they've not played as well as we expect them to. But as Craig was saying, and as Jan said, according to this game yesterday, like they did control the match itself. Forrest were kind of hanging in there. When you look at some of the chances that they did miss, they probably score those chances maybe nine out of ten times, but on this day they didn't. And then a lapse at the back leads to Forrest scoring that goal. And it wasn't as if Forrest were really expansive at any point. They basically clung on in the first half. And then the second half, as I say, there was a folding chance where he could have played it. Those two for Haaland, there was Laporte 
from five yards out ahead of, there were a couple more chances as well. So it wasn't from a grand in the grand scheme of things, performance wise, it was looked more like Man City. But the fact that he didn't convert their chances is ultimately what's cost them. And I think going forward, there'll be a huge sense of disappointment because it feels like they did drop two points. But if they would have played badly, if they would have been hanging on for a draw away at Forest and given up a ton of chances, I think it'd feel like more of a crisis. But I think for the way that they created the opportunities, I think they'll believe they can rectify that in the next game and take those. And, you know, before you know it, they'll be back in with a bigger shout in this title race because who knows, maybe Arsenal will drop points again. He's got this, he's, it's almost like he's had this eureka moment, Guardiola, because we had this... <laughs> Bernardo Silva. We had this Bernardo Silva <laughs> popping up in the left-back position again, particularly in the second half. And actually, if you look at the forest, and maybe that was because they knew they were going to dominate this game as much as they did in terms of possession. But if you look at the forest goal... It was all part of, of the, the cog in the wheel. Yeah. Silva was back in the left back position at this point. He 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 went out to a ball he didn't have to go to. They played it around him. Then Rodri has to step back in. Everybody has to shuffle across because he's pushed in. And, and you know, Forrest find a bit of space. And because they've shuffled across, Chris Wood is at the back post. So these things, yeah, they're very clever at times. And you think, oh, that's that's a strange idea. And we've saw it recently a couple of times. Uh, with Bernardo Silva, but when it comes down just to the plain old defending part of it, mm. then when it's it's like the domino effect, when he goes, somebody else goes, everybody comes across, that leaves you exposed at the other side, and that was part of the reason, not all of it, that they lost that goal when Brennan Johnson was able to run in and they had a two-on-one. Thank you very much for watching ESPN FC on YouTube. For more highlights, analysis, and exclusive content, be sure to subscribe.